Lord, how long will man keep hurting and destroying one another? How long will innocent blood be washed from the streets? How long will these atrocities continue? How long before we have peace? What happened to the days when the community was all a black man had in this white America? A place where he could always retreat back to and call home. Those days seem slight years away, long forgotten, and even far gone. You know, it's sad to think that all our ancestors who died for the cause of freedom gave their lives in vain. If you can't sympathize with that, my dear brothers, how about the man who gave his life for equal rights? Yes, I'm talking about the late, great Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. You see, he had us reaching out with love and peace and togetherness in all ages, races, colors, and creeds. Somehow we seem to have lost his formula, which we must soon recapture, for today is one of our greatest needs. You know, we've got to start by improving our self-awareness and take a look at ourselves from within. And for those who claim they know and love Jesus Christ are only lying to themselves. With all these drive-by shootings of innocent men and women and children, this truly falls under the category of a fire and brimstone sin. So how can you justify what you're doing with no regard or remorse for God's creation? It's the people who make up the world, my brother, so wake up and smell the coffee. For if you don't, you'll be headed on the road of eternal damnation. So try and rid yourselves of that total hatred that you've built up in your hearts and minds for one another. You're not just killing some grieving mother's child. Man, you're killing your own brother. So take a look at your surroundings. It's the same as when you were on the outside looking in. And it's a shame to see no unity amongst the black man. And that in itself is also a sin. So when you go to pick up the Bible, don't just read the pictures and look at the words. Take heed to what the prophets are saying. For what it boils down to is eternal life if you pick up the cross and live by Jesus Christ's words. Oh, but I have a dream. I have a dream. Yes, I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day I'll be able to walk down the streets of America with my head held high when brothers and sisters of all races and colors and creeds will be encouraging to one another, living in truth and despising our lives. I have a dream that all our sins of the past will no longer shame and haunt us, but be a testimony giving all honor and glory to God the Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. And all God's children will find comfort and rest in God's words that cuts asunder like a double-edged sword. I have a dream. And all those who are in bondage to drugs and alcohol will take heed to sound doctrine and be set free of addictions, evil disease. As the faces of every sinner surrenders their will to God, asking for forgiveness of their sins while on their hands and knees. Oh, I have a dream. I have a dream. Yes, I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream that every drug dealer will stop pushing drugs once they truly realize how they're helping to destroy the lives of their brothers and sisters who are lie, rob, steal, and kill just for another hit of that base. I have a dream that every addict will find love, peace, and freedom in Jesus because the mind is a terrible thing to waste. And everyone who has lost a loved one can and will find strength and hope in Jesus' precious name. And after tonight, by the grace of God, someone's life will do a complete turnaround to never, ever be the same. Oh, I have a dream. I have a dream that one day all races will come together united for the good of all mankind and the world will be a place filled with love, peace and harmony in everyone's hearts, souls and minds. I have a dream that someone will hear and be touched by the word of God and leave here with a changed heart and all who are filled with hopelessness and despair will embrace the good in themselves and ask Jesus to renew a right spirit within and create in you a clean heart. Oh, I have a dream I have a dream that all God's people who struggle with those old demons will emancipate themselves from mental slavery for only ourselves can free our minds. For God will restore joy to the poor and brokenhearted in these end times. 
I have a dream. I have a dream that one day God will uphold and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways. And all sinners will return to you, Father God, and all your loving, merciful ways. Yes, I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. Oh, I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream that one day there will be no more sufferings, disease, wars, rumors of wars, ethnic cleansings, prejudice because of another's race, faith, color, or belief. I have a dream that one day, when all has been said and done, we all will be called home to glory in paradise by the great I Am, the Prince of Peace. Yes, Lord, I have a dream. I have a dream. Yes, I have a dream. Yes, I have a dream. Yes, 